All right, everyone, we are back. If you want to fill your stomach with some great dessert recipes, you've got to try at least one of Carrie's because I've tasted everything you've seen me, and they're great. That panna cotta is to die for. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love that. It's one of my favorites. So we're going to make a cherry jalousie, okay. uh, which utilizes a cherry filling as well as puff pastry. Okay, great. Show us what to do. So we're going to do a really quick filling. Um, we're going to take all of our cherries, okay. put them into our stove pop. We have granulated sugar or you can use brown sugar. You could even use honey or a maple. It's just a sweetener. We're gonna use cornstarch as our binder. Okay. And then I'm also gonna give it a little uh, squirt oh, of lemon. your lemon, yeah. Need a little, little uh, zing. So we're gonna take this, combine it up, put it on the stove, and then you just wanna cook it until the, the cherries give off a little liquid and it's gonna turn into a nice uh, pink gel. All right, okay, so we're not you know, we're not bringing it up to a boil. We're not getting in there and cooking it like crazy. No, I just put it on low and let it do its thing. It, it multitask while you're working on this How one. How much time? Give me a general idea. It's gonna take maybe 10 minutes. Sorry okay. to finish. Okay, all right. Oh, this is it finished. Look at that. You know, and it just has like, obviously you have a little bit of the cornstarch right now, but yes. when you bake this, uh, the Jalousie, the cornstarch turns clear. Okay, all right. So you don't have to worry about that. But you just wanna make sure that it's, once you've taken it off the stove, chill it down or it's gonna melt your puff pastry. So we're gonna let this sit, and then you wanna bring up uh, your puff pastry. Okay, so this is kinda tricky outside when it's this hot, but we're gonna go for it. So this is just like the package you get in the store. All right. And I'm gonna open it up, and you do need both sheets, but I'm not gonna use all of the second sheet. See, she turned off the stove. Did you notice that? She was on it. Multitasking at its best, I love it. Multitasking. Okay. Now, you want your puff pastry to thaw slightly. If it's frozen, it's just gonna break okay. when you open it up. So now, all we're gonna do is take a little bit of egg wash, and this is just one whole egg beaten with a little bit of water. Okay. And then just give a little bit of wash on the edges. All right. So now I'm gonna take this filling, and depending on how much you wanna use, you can have a super tightly filled jalousie, you can have uh, more crust, it depends on the type of pastry you like. It's up to you. I'm basically just going to take this out. Okay. And then I'm gonna just make about one inch strips. But you start from one side and you just fold it and press it. Oh, crisscross applesauce. That's it. And then I chill it and then bake it about 350, 375 golden brown. Okay. In a home oven, it's probably gonna take about a half an hour. It makes a great dessert. Serve it with a scoop of ice cream. Or I would do it with a little bit of panna cotta that I have right here. How about that? Hey, Carrie, let's see what it would look like plated up. Oh, can you guys see the inside? I mean, that is that is so much fun when it turns out like that, and the colors are like jumping off the in the middle of this thing. I'm I'm uh, I'm speechless. Thank you. I know I'm going to the store and getting all the ingredients and getting this done. The bread, actually, that is fantastic. Don't forget, you guys, those brandied cherries. I'm hearing a tractor, and I think it's Chris Vasconcellos. Let's see if he can catch us before we go to commercial break. Otherwise, Carrie, thank you so much for all these recipes. They've thank been fun it. and easy to do. Well, it's been great. Thank you very much again for having me. We gotta have you on the show again. Love to. We love having our, I love pastries. We'll be right back. Oh, that, I can't believe that color. That's a surprise.